Guys, I don't know if you know, but I'm from Florida, the land of heat, and I went to school in LA, which is also never cold, really. Never snows, at least. No winter there. Um, and I moved to Virginia, like, last year, where it's cold and snowy, but today it's high of, like, 60-something, and I'm so freaking happy. <laughs> Not freaking cold. Look at this. Look at this. OTD, but look. There's holes in my pants. You see ankle. <laughs> you don't know what a relief it is if you're wearing pants with holes in them. <laughs> Today's just gonna be a great day. So today my plan is to hopefully go to two different bookstores. One is a used bookstore and one is the Amazon bookstore, which I've never been to an Amazon bookstore. It just looks real cool. So I'm gonna try to hit that up, but it's in like DC and I'm not good with driving and parking and city life. So we'll see about that, but that's my plan. I'm gonna go on an adventure because my day off and I was forced to wake up before noon. So, you know, let's get used out of it. And I have a bookshelf to make. I ordered a bookshelf from Ikea, and today I'm gonna build it and organize my books. Probably don't have enough books to fill it up yet, but that's fine. The audio is real bad for this, so I'm just gonna voice over it. So here is my current bookshelf. At the bottom, it's just a bunch of random crap. And then we have some of my boyfriend's history books. And then Scythe is just down here because I just finished it and I didn't feel like moving everything else. So, you know, that's just there. And here we have my contemporaries. It's a very, very small <laughs> section. Then we have my classics, like the Barnes & Noble ones and Catcher in the Rye and etc. Then I just got this. It's kind of damaged, but it was like 10 bucks, so whatever. We have got some more books. These are all of the fantasy books that I have, uh, that I've finished. Well, that's not true. All the fantasy books that are not in my TBR. So, Harry Potter's, Carry On, these are not mine. I have not read these. The, um, over here, haven't read those either. Scorch Trials is not mine. And then Six of Crows. So, I've read like two books and then Harry Potter. <laughs> Great! Oh, and Scythe. And we got my little Pop Funkos and this is my TBR shelf right here. So, whole mess of things. <laughs> Lots to get to. And today we're gonna figure out how to reorganize my bookshelf. It's gonna be one with the cubes in it, so that should be interesting. And then up here we've got my Queenie wand and some Fantastic Beast uh, Pops. I really like this. I have taken some pictures of it. Um, so, I've made this. I was going to try to make a bunch of different Harry Potter fake potions for my Etsy. And this was the start. This is flu powder. I just never got around to putting a label on it. It is sparkly and it glows in the dark. So, that's fun. But now it's just something for my shelves. I could make more if y'all want some, I can make some. But yeah, here is my bookshelf as it is right now. Very tiny. Ignore the ping pong table. And I will show you the, uh, and I will show you my new bookshelf later. Get hyped. Okay, bye. All right, here's what has gone down today. Um, I tried going to the Amazon bookstore, 
but like I said, it's in um, more of a city kind of area. It's in Georgetown and um, driving and parking there was impossible, so I gave up. So I went to the other bookstore called One More Page. Um, I thought it was a used bookstore, but that's a different one. Um, but it was just like a little bookstore and I got a book and then I walked around a bit, went to a cafe, got some coffee and a croissant. And then I decided to just go to Barnes and Noble because I had a coupon for 20% off one book, but then I ended up getting two books. I also decided to sit in Barnes and Noble and physically read the ebook that I had and I finished it. So I feel completely drained because I just sat there and finished a book. Um, it was The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. I'll probably talk about that more in my February wrap up. But it was good, it was good, 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 and yeah, I bought books, which I probably should not be doing, but I did, so I'll show you what I got. Alright, so here is one of the books I got, it is The Dark Vault, um, so this is two books in one, and I cannot express how heavy and, like, packed this book feels. I think they really just tried to save money and just packed a, way more pages in here than there should be, um, but it's the, um, archived series, basically by Victoria Schwab, um, one of the like first um, duologies she wrote, and I've been wanting to read it. Um, imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books. It's about like books and death, you, you get that from what I just told you. But um, pretty cool, it says there's two novels and a bonus short story, so that's exciting. I've never seen this before, so that's why I got it. Then from Barnes & Noble, I got Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Um, this is a, like, mystery thriller contemporary. I don't know how to describe it. It's about, like, a girl who goes to a private school, um, and she's really into, like, solving mysteries and shit, so she's gonna do that at the school. Oh, ignore all the trash I have in my car. Yeah, I don't know mystery people like it it's good I want to read it so I got it because why not the next book I got is a book I've already read and that's The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell um, I decided to get this because I listened to it on audiobook and I've been wanting to get more books that like I have read just to um, like keep on my shelves and stuff but I decided to get this one because I did listen to it on audiobook and there was a lot going on. And I feel like I missed some stuff. Or I just could have been paying closer attention. And also, the voice, like the narrator wasn't my favorite. So, yeah, I got it because I did really enjoy it. But I want to reread it physically to try and pay more attention before moving on to The Devil's Thief. So, yeah. I'm listening to Before the Devil Breaks You. Things are happening. I'm afraid. <laughs> so you know there's like a love triangle? If you if you know diviners, yeah. I am rooting for one side of that love triangle and um I thought it wasn't ever gonna happen and now things are happening. But I'm afraid it's gonna go bad, but I don't want it to go bad. I want it to Good. Okay, I'm gonna continue listening now. Pray for me. Thanks. Bye. So here's my completed bookshelf. Um, I do have some blank spots still and some books are not currently in it. But yeah, I finished making it and I'm slowly going to be filling it up. And I'll just give like a quick run through, I guess. Okay, so over here we've got the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, Illuminae, Scythe should also go here. And just a little potion I made, I like glow in the dark thing. Um, we have my Schwab shelf, which Darker Shade of Magic should also be up here, but I'm currently reading it. And then we've got a Bardugo shelf as well. 
And then over here, I just got some some randos, the Magician series, Truly Devious, Enchantment of Ravens, Warcross, and a little Artemis from Ready Player One Pop Funko. Down here we've got Fangirl and uh, Carry On. I usually have a little uh, Fangirl candle as well, but I don't know where it is. I was probably burning it. And I also got the Diviners and Three Dark Crowns. Here is a Harry Potter shelf over here, just like the colors, <laughs> Celtic Wolves, Raven Cycle, and the um, Alchemist series, I don't know what you call that. Over here we just got one of those um, letter boards and my Luna pop that I'm really excited about. And then down here we just got some like classics, some Barnes & Noble classics and such, and a Harry Potter candle. Over here we have a Fantastic Beast shelf, not much on there yet, but you know. <laughs> Over here we got Curl Prince and Wicked King, and I just put my Thestral Pop there. Over here we've got some Rick Riordan. Um, they're not mine, but, you know, books. And down here, <laughs> I've got my Contemporary section, plus um, the uh, Wicked. <laughs> Don't have a lot of Contemporary. Over here we've got my, like, um, what are they called? Vinyl Nations and my Disney pins. And then over here we have my um, Disney ear collection I make my own Disney ears and then a blank spot so obviously got to figure out what else to put in here or you know just buy more books <laughs> but yeah there is my completed uh, bookshelf new bookshelf yay exciting woo yeah okay that's all um, and I'm gonna leave this vlog here so subscribe if you would like give it a like if you like this video um, go follow me on Instagram. Peace. Goodbye.